What up, everyone? So today I have a subscriber request. This came in from a subscriber by the name of Jimbo93. Now that happens to um, that happens to remind me of the American Pie film series because the main character in that is from. Oh, sorry, the main character's name is Jim, and they call him Jimbo. And yeah, I mean, that, that took me back to my earlier days of enjoying the American Pie films when I was at school. But anyway, um, I digress. So today I'm going to cover how you actually remove a plugin altogether. Um, I've done a post in the past, or I've done a video in the past, that covered how you delete a plugin. But the technique to do that is you actually replace it with another one. So the question that Jimbo had was that, okay, that's cool. Um, if I want to replace something that already exists with something new. However, how, what about if I wanted to just, you know, remove my entire strip, my, my, my entire mix, mixing strip. So what you should have is in FL 12, there should be an option at the top of the mixer window or the, sorry, the plugin window, it's called none. So what we can do is I can literally, we've got this bad filter. We just copy that over. Oh, that's weird. So let, let's let's say you want to remove the, the first instance of, of Pro Q without removing the other one or without copying the other one on top of it. So in previous videos, I said, you know, you can just uh, save the preset like that and just drag it over the top and it will it will overwrite it. However, if you want to remove it completely, there's an option in the plugin picker called none. And as you can see, that's completely removed the plugin. And what I did find is that when I installed FL12, it didn't have this option. I'm not sure why it was there in FL11. I managed to go back into my plugin database and extract that preset from FL11 and just copy that across to FL12. If you happened to remove or uninstall FL11, you don't have that anymore. Um, I mean, ImageLine may have changed this from when FL12 first came out. However, if you don't have the, uh, the none preset, I have uploaded a copy of the files that you need. So I'll just show you that now very quickly. What you need to do is you need to, you need these three files here. So you've got an FST file, uh, an NFO file, which just has, uh, it's just a notepad file that, you know, gives some instructions that we don't need to worry about. And then we've just got the uh, PNG, the image file, uh, you know, just has a, a cross through. Cool. So you need these three files, you just drop them into this location. Pretty simple. Copy and paste this location, obviously, if you're on Windows, into the address bar. And just paste those plugins in uh, the uh, files in here, and you'll have it appear in your plugin picker. If you're on the Mac, if you just look for the plugin database, I'm sure that, that you know, the start of the location can be a little bit different, but the end location is you need to go plugin database and into effects, add that in there, and you can remove your plugins if you wish. Cool, I hope that helped. Be sure to check my channel for other videos in this series and subscribe for more videos going forward. Peace.